Am I? Am I? Irrelevant yet. And as you're making your way to the second obstacle, out the corner of your eye, you will see something you will never forget. You know, I think the hardest leadership challenge that we'll ever have is the challenge of leading ourselves. Like, because we can only lead others as far as we can lead ourselves. That's it. You haven't proven that you're fit enough, fast enough, and strong enough to be selected to be trained as a leader in their army. The rewards of the 95% outweigh the risks of the 5%. Stop overrating technical competence and underrating character. Character is a fine man. Yeah, honestly, I, I think we're all leaders, I really do. Whether we hold a leadership position or not, a leadership title or not, I think we all have a responsibility and accountability to show up and to make the environment part of better. You know, whether we're a spouse, a sibling, a parent, a neighbour, a community member, we are all leaders, whether we like it or not. So I'm a huge believer uh, in unofficial leadership, if you like. They stop you in your track, take half a step forward, just so they can intimidate you a little bit more, look you in the eyes and say, oh no, there's been no mistake. We know exactly, exactly who you are. And we're gonna assess you and your leadership ability based on how your team performs when you're not there. I'm not an expert in leadership. I'm not a guru of leadership. You know, I really dislike those terms. I don't think anybody ever passes the course and gets a certificate that says, oh, that's it, I'm now a leader. I think it's lifelong learning and a lifelong journey. Leadership is lonely. Do not do it alone. You know, I really do believe that leadership is leadership is leadership. So irrelevant of the profession, irrelevant of the industry, irrelevant of the sector, the principles are the same because you're leaving people, humans with emotions. And I honestly believe the messages I share relate and can be applied universally to anyone.